They appear suddenly, and they just keep coming. Circular sinkholes, some 20 meters deep and 40 meters wide. A deadly trap for humans and animals. Here in the central Anatolian region of Konya, they're appearing ever closer to villages and farms. Including on Fatih Six farm. In summer, the earth of one of his beet fields suddenly opened up, a hundred meters from his home. That day, I truly believed the apocalypse had arrived. While the muezzin was calling to prayer, there was a thumping noise from below. We didn't understand where it was coming from. Then I saw the ground open up, and a fountain of water shot up into the air. Experts from the University of Konya have come to examine and measure the hole. They can hardly keep up with their work. There are now over 2,500 holes in this area alone. For geologist Fatula Arik, sinkholes like this are nothing new for the region. We've been observing a massive drop in the groundwater level here ever since the early 2000s. It's caused by drought, climate change and excessive irrigation of fields. Back then, the level would sink by a half a meter, a meter at most. Now, it's several meters. Fault lines often act as conduits for groundwater. When they dry up over the years or sink into deeper layers of the earth, it can trigger sinkholes. Arik has been researching progressive soil erosion for many years. Only the areas marked in white are safe from major subsidence. In the colored regions, it could occur at any time. That's half the country. For farmer Fati Sik, the danger is far from over. He's discovered the next subsidence on his cattle run. With a lack of space, he's had to sell some of his animals. What should I do? Start all over again somewhere else? I can't afford it. Where should I go anyway? Where is it still safe? People affected like Fatah Sik haven't been offered any state assistance. So far, all the authorities have done is put up warning notices and fence off the holes. Critics accuse them of failing to provide effective water management. If Sik and other farmers want to irrigate their fields, they've no alternative to groundwater. They're literally digging themselves into a hole. The farmer is desperate. No matter how hard I try to explain what we're going through here, I can't find the words. It's really very difficult. Sik has to stay. He doesn't have the money to up and move. Geologist Fatula Arik, too, can't predict when and where the next sinkhole will open up. Though there are a few warning signs. If you notice unusual accumulations of water, trees or electricity pylons suddenly leaning, cracks appearing on the walls of houses, or windows no longer closing properly, those can all be signs that the Earth's about to collapse. So far, nobody has fallen into a sinkhole, and no houses have been swallowed up. But the scientist says that could change. The holes are appearing more and more along roads and railway lines. That means not only that people's lives are in danger, but that important infrastructure is also at risk. Central Anatolia was once the breadbasket of Turkey. But whether agriculture has a safe future home here is more uncertain than ever. <laughs>